Hi there, so welcome to my next video on YouTube. This is still Dan, fortunately for everyone out there. And today we're going to be experimenting with uh, a symphony of colour in milk. And so this is going to be my, this is my third, I think, video on YouTube. And there's like four more to come. Sorry for the slight delay. Okay, quite a long delay. Anyway, basically, the reason I'm doing it from my perspective today is because I couldn't find any other way of doing it and still having it zoomed in on the milk. So, unfortunately, you're not going to get to see my wonderful face today. So, what you're going to need for this is a baking tray, about the size of the one you can see on that camera. Here's my thumb for scale. Um, you need some milk, preferably not the expired milk that I'm using because it smells absolutely foul. Whole milk, it has to be whole milk, it cannot be light milk because of the fat in whole milk. You need three different varieties of food colouring. Here I have green, blue and somewhere around here I've got red as well. You also need some dishwasher liquid or some, yeah, any sort of detergent really. And basically what you need to do is you need to get a few drops of each of the colours. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this without a pipette, really, but we'll find out. Let's go again. And drop. Oh, it's a bit much. Come on. Hang on. Sorry. Then get the... Second drop. There we are, that's what it works. Then we'll get the third colour. You can put as many drops in as you like, and they've probably got to be more accurate than this, but whatever. There we go. Put some more red in over here. And put some more green in here. Oh, the colours are mixing because I'm using the same finger. Ah, oh, never mind. I'll put some blue in here and here. Okay, so now, basically what you're going to see with this experiment is, um, uh, uh, supposedly a symphony of colour. I don't know, I haven't done this experiment yet. I haven't planned well enough to get enough milk. You basically just need enough milk to um, only just fill the bottom of the pan that you're using. So I'm using, you know, quite a wide surface area and I've only got about 300 mils of milk. So you're probably going to need about 600 mils if you want to replicate this experiment which will probably have been useful for me. So, basically what we're gonna to need to do now is add a couple of drops of the food colouring, I mean of the dishwashing liquid, onto the food colouring so you can see it all happen. So, here goes. Hopefully. Oh wait, I've gotta open it. That would help. Kids, open the dishwashing gel first. Right. Oh cool, a bubble. Oh whoops, I blew the milk. Oh, there we go. That's what's, that's what's supposed to happen. How cool is that? All of the dishwashing liquid is reacting with the fats in the milk and is sort of breaking down all of the fat in it. Because basically what happens is, well, we know where the colour comes from, obviously. It comes from food colouring. And then the, why the milk and the liquid soap? Basically, the main job of dish soap is to go after fat and to break it down. Usually the fat's on the dishes from the food we eat, but the fat's also in whole milk. So when you drop the liquid soap onto the tray, it tries to break down the fat in the milk. So uh, while it's doing that, it causes a colour to scatter and mix and create a very, very lovely display, actually. So we'll put maybe a few more drops in just for fun. There we are. Now, hopefully... Uh, I think we've run out of fat. Pretty cool. It's actually really cool. That's my favourite one yet. That's my favourite one yet. So, if you want to follow this channel on YouTube, just click the thing at the bottom of the video, the bit which says, you know, follow, whatever it is. I don't know. I'm usually on Tumblr, so it probably doesn't say follow. And then, obviously, get ready for the wide array of videos that's coming the rest of the afternoon, because I'm way, way overdue. So yeah, thank you, um, goodbye for now.